for me, look, this has been a long, this has been a long campaign, and I'm looking at myself, and I'm looking at, I'm, I'm going to go back to Sweden for a few days. I'm going to, I'm going to look, look at myself and say, do you really think, given, given the, the situation, that you can take this team forward? If I think no, then I'll step aside. And if I think yes, I'll come back and speak to my employer. And if they think the same, then I'll get on with the job. But I think it's it's one where you've got to. Everybody has to have a long, hard look at themselves. And there's a saying: if it ain't broken, don't break it. But I prefer to say: if it ain't broken, break it. Put it back together, and you'll find something that you can do better. So I'll do that with myself, and I'll I'll ask myself the question: if I can be that person that will take it forward. Look, if I'm rating the, the team's performance, I'm a coach, not a schoolmaster, really. I think you're asking, you're asking questions that it's one of these, what was his mandate? What is his mandate? It's a question that's loaded to try to find an angle somewhere. Look, I've got no problems leaving this job. You don't, don't confuse me with the coach that's desperate for a job. I've turned down a job this week with another African nation. I've turned down a job last week with the Saudi, with the Saudis. I've turned down jobs in Asia. And I've turned down jobs in South Africa to stay with this team. I'm not a desperate coach. I stay, I stay and do the job because I want to do it. I, I think I can take the team forward. The second I don't, I'll leave. Now, don't confuse me with that desperate coach that's, oh, please don't sack me. Please, please don't sack me. I'll do this job because I thought that this national team needed direction. And I think I've given it the first stage of that direction. To rate my own job, I never do that because that's being pompous and blown up and and I don't ever do that. But if I, if I was to stay in the job, it would be because I think I can do the job properly. And I have to say, without sounding arrogant, not 1% of my self-esteem would come from questions like that, asking me to give a, a mark to my own performance. And people that sit there saying, how can you understand South Africans when you've not been through what we've been through? I, I understand that people want a South African in a perfect world leading the South African national team. I understand that. That should not drive away coaches that can enhance the national team. It drove away Carlos Queiroz. And I don't think we got better after that. It drove, away, it drove me away the first time. And I don't think that South African football improved rapidly. Even the, your own people like Pizzo was driven away back into club football and Pizzo's done very nicely, thank you very much and the national team still had the same problems so I think we have to we have to get away from this sort of thinking of let's see how good you think you are first I think you've got to look at a programme and you've got to say is the progress being made? if progress is being made then some things are being done correctly and then let's look at those things. Instead of looking at everything still, but after, after I think a very good, and I'm saying other people also think a very good, solid AFCON, still the questions that you're asking is if I'm going to get the sack from my employer and if the players think I'm good enough to be taking the national team. I think that's, I think that's unnecessary and I, I think it's counterproductive, I have to say. Now you, you again you 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 more than you've got more than a right to to your opinion, but I think you've got to know that that basic that basic premise of asking negative questions it may sell a few newspapers, but it's certainly it's certainly not productive. 